Anyway, this is just a quick vid to show you how to put together indirect evap cooling with my Blue Cube evap cooler. Got the 250 watts, it's running 280 watt fans and 220 watt pumps. Total of 200 watts, but I wanted a little extra for the amps. We got the cold air coming out there. We got the water circulating through the tubes. If you look carefully, you can see a few air bubbles. Sorry, I'm blocking the solar panels so it'll slow down. And there's your unit temps above 60, 15.6 Celsius, 59, 15 Celsius. That's awesome. I just can't believe it. It's staying exactly the same temperature as the water. It couldn't be working better. It's working absolutely awesome. Indirect evap cooling. All right, and then for the install, just go through a window like this. Put the pipes in, one and a quarter inch holes in a one by four, drop it in a window, remove the screen, and then just shut the window down on it or side sliding this way, and you're set. And of course, again, the blue evap outside and the heat exchanger inside. The reason this works is because evap coolers do two things. They cool the air, but they also cool the water down to the same temperature of the air. So when you put like 80 degree Fahrenheit tap water in here and start it up, Turn the fan on, within 10 minutes the water down there will be 60 and it holds solid. And the reason for that is because when the water goes down the pad, maybe 1 or 2 percent of the water evaporates with each pass, but 98 percent of it goes to the bottom and it just literally gets cooled by evaporation itself. So it's cooling the water in the air when you're running this thing. And you might think this thing would overpower it, but it's not even close. This thing totally handles it. That size unit with this size unit worked easily. All right, so it couldn't have worked better. It worked out awesome. So just to wrap it up, if you want to build a system like this, I've got several videos on how to build these, but it's super easy. And then the Blue Cube Evap Cooler, got a couple videos on that too. I'll post all the links to the different videos for this in the uh, description below this video. All right, the best way to explain how to make this is really just a quick talk through because the build is so simple it's ridiculous. Again, that's a half inch plywood on the front, roughly 12 by 10. Got the 7 inch car radiator fan on the front, 12 volt 80 watt DC. 
and we got the 2x4s on the sides, both 11 inches long. And that's the basic frame. Then you just take this 8x8 heat exchanger and slide it in. And for reference, the 8x8 refers to the fins on the back. Total height of it is about 11 or 12 inches high. Anything from 200 to 350 works good. There's the pump options. In the back is the 200 GPH AC and in the front is the 350 bilge pump 12 volt DC. Dated the three-way couplers, eight 11 and a half inch pieces, and four the 26 inch pieces. That makes a total cube width of about 14 inches and height of about 28. And again, for the shorter build, take six inches off the pad length and six inches off the vertical posts. So those posts would be 20 inches instead of 26. Okay, then I took the top part off and drilled 1 16th inch holes, spaced evenly all the way around, about 8 to 10 per piece of pipe. Okay, now to add the pump, just take a T and a plastic hose barb, screw it together, and we'll cut a section and drop it on. That's it, then you just drop this on. Or you attach the flexible hose here. So again, it's a 20 watt water pump, 80 watt fan, 100 watt panel, 100% solar powered.